Hi, this is Larry the Barberman of LarryTheBarberman.com and today we're going to discuss loose levers on the Andis Masters and then on the Andis Fade Masters. I have a lot of uh, barbers contacting me asking me why the levers are loose or too tight. This is a very uh, simple thing to deal with. It's just a question of loosening uh, four screws. So with that said, let's get down to how you actually loosen or tighten or adjust the lever on an Andis Masters or on an Andis Fade Masters. It's all you need for this operation is a uh, high grade Phillips screwdriver. That's all you need uh, from what I can remember. And when you have the tight levers as this one is or indeed a loose lever, first and foremost you need to remove this blade entirely. So again you need a high grade screwdriver Phillips screwdriver, just loosen those screws here and make sure when you're doing this operation you do it on a corrugated rubber mat or on a towel and the reason for that is you don't want to lose uh, these little tiny screws because they're prone to flicking across to the other side of the room when doing uh, this operation. So if you can see here, I'm sure the camera can pick that up, you've got four screws over the top here. Uh, basically this is called the, the these screws for the blade pad. And what you need to do basically, what alters the tension is just adjusting these screws. So if it's too tight, just loosen the screw slightly and you'll find that the pressure adjusts accordingly on the actual lever itself. So I'm just changing screw heads to something slightly smaller because they come up quite small the screws on here so as you saw here I don't know if you can work out from the camera that is quite tight so if I basically loosen these four screws you'll see that it goes really, really loose now. So the tension of the four screws is reflective on the tension on the actual lever itself. So this is just something, this is a professional uh, clipper. So it has quite a lot of adjust adjustments so you can literally customize it exactly how you want it. Some people will actually want the, the increased tension, others won't, but if it's, too loose it's a foregone conclusion that you are going to have to open this up and tighten it to make it tighter. I mean I actually prefer it quite tight so I'm going to leave that tight. This was just for the, demons, uh, the purpose of the video to tell you what to do with a loose lever or a tight lever. So when you finish those four adjustments you basically put your blade back on. Just get the screws in first would be oops. It helps if you turn the blade up the right way. There we go. Put the blade up the right way. Put that in there. And that screw in there. And what you do first of all is just get them in. And once they're in, just tighten them slightly because you're going to need a little bit of tightness to actually straighten out and adjust the blades. Again, I'm just changing the head to a bigger, uh, more appropriate head for the job. Now we've taken off the blades. You can't just put the blades back on. You basically have to ensure that the blades are actually straight. So if they're not straight, then half of the cutting blade may be out and it could nick your client. So it's just very similar, if you've seen my zero gapping video, it's a very similar thing. You just basically look along the blade, make sure that the distance uh, from the cutting blade to the distance from the cutting blade, the comb blade to the cutting blade are exactly the same so the blade isn't slanted. Once you've done that, it's just basically a question of turning the left screw then the right screw, check in, turn the left screw. Just every time you do it, 
just keep turning up the pressure but at the beginning you want to keep the pressure really really low again check that they're both straight and even and then keep increasing the pressure because obviously we want these tight but you can't just go straight in and do a tight movement right at the very beginning or it'll cause the blades to spin right so there you go that's another demonstration by Larry the Barber Man on how to adjust the lever of an Andis Fade Master or an Andis Master. It's just the four different screws. I hope you found this demo helpful. If you did, I would ask that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And basically I have many more videos with tips and tricks on how to repair, modify and customize your clippers. For now, Larry the Barber Man signing off. Thank you.